child i didn't over bleach these knots but uh yeah we're gonna go ahead and fix this get this lace wig back to where it needs to be girl To fix this lace, I'm using the Adore Darkest Brown Semi-Permanent Dye. And then I'm going to also use the dye brush, uh, a mascara wand um, to kind of especially get that front part of the lace and uh, the container so that I can mix the dye in the container and apply it inside of the So here you'll see me just taking little sections in between um, the lace and apply the dye directly onto the hair strand trying to avoid the actual lace the ultimate goal is to keep have the lace give it scalp and um, you don't want to dye the lace you just don't want those type of problems so I'm just gonna go section by section adding the dye to each strand of the lace as much as possible trying to make sure that I cover majority of the spots because as you can see um, all between there's a, um, a hefty amount of um, lace that has been over bleached and my goal is to basically correct that with using the semi-permanent dye now the instructions for the dye says to cover it with a plastic cap and process it with heat for about 15 minutes so what i did is i just applied it to as much as i could onto the hair strands trying to avoid the lace and then i just used a blow dryer to speed up the process off camera i did wash and condition the hair after i did the dye but um i only set it for on there for about like five minutes or so and and that wasn't enough time for it to give the effect that i wanted to give so i went back in and added the dye onto the hair strands again and i actually just dried it with a blow dryer and left it on and then i go back and just go in and retouch um just different spots using the um the wand or the brush depending on what spot i'm trying to actually cover this is a real quick and simple way just to fix your over bleach knots um again i am just uh in my still learning stage so i've been making a different mistakes various mistakes and learning from them so here i am just combing it through just to kind of see what i've covered and how i've done so far and just doing a little touch up um, as i see fit this is definitely a transformation compared to what um, the over bleach knots looked like before. And just make sure you're very, very careful with not getting it on the lace. I actually should have used the mascara one, but you get the drift. So you see I set the timer for five minutes, but it probably could have took more about five to 10 minutes. The instructions suggest that you use up to 15 minutes. So do whatever you feel is best um, however you see fit is best again i try about five to ten minutes and that was enough and sufficient for me especially after using the blow dryer once it completely dried in i was good to go with what i had i'm just uh, glad i'm at a point to where i know how to correct these um errors now because initially if i over bleached the wig I'll be ready to throw it out because I just don't like the way it looks. So here is the result of what it looks like after I go ahead and dye um, the hair strands for the over bleached um, areas. And I'm just sectioning it off just so you can kind of see where we came from and how it looks so far. And I'm just loving this now. I'm so happy with the results. Um, so if you over bleach any knots on your lace, then definitely give this method a try to correct it because, um, it just basically saved the lace. And I'm just going to do a little skin check just to kind of see what it would look like on my scalp once I add the makeup to the actual lace. And this is a glueless unit, so I am just so happy that I was able to correct these over bleached knots. 
um, so that I can continue to style and wear this unit as I please. So just a quick before and after, definitely can see where we came from and where we went with it and I just love it.